fresh news coming on the new hero. Make sure to hit that like button. What is up guys, it's Sobash, welcome back. We are back with some more Mobile Legends news and updates and we have the information on the new hero, Aurora, Queen of the North. Now we also have not only her skills, but we have her price as well. So this new hero will cost 24,000 battle points. Not bad, it's a mage. Uh, that's the same price as the Lice, the Lice, the last mage that came out, which was Cyclops. Yeah, that little guy. And he costs 24,000 battle points. So she's gonna cost 24,000 battle points. And in the beginning, uh, she's going to cost 499 diamonds or with the 30% off. So that's going to be like, uh, what, 349 ish, something like that. So it's not a very bad price on the hero. Now, getting into her skills, let's take a look at what she does. Her first ability is called Pride of Ice, it is her passive. Each time the skill is released, one unit of frost energy will be added to the hero. When four units of frost energy is collected, the next skill damage will freeze the target. All skills can cause extra magic damage to the frozen target. Now that's really interesting in itself. Uh, after you reach four units of frost energy, your next attack is going to automatically freeze somebody. That's, that's, that's basically a stun on a passive. That's crazy. All right, her actual first ability, which is her A skill or her number one skill is called Frost Shot. Fires forward a frost energy missile. When it hits the enemy, it will detonate and deal radio magic damage and slow enemies down. All right, so this is just a basic, uh, looks like a frontal energy missile. It's going to detonate, do damage and slow people down. Uh, basic. I'm not sure what type of damage it's going to be able to do yet. We don't have any numbers just yet, just the abilities. And for the second skill, it is called Bitter Frost. Deals magic damage to the target with, with additional small scale slowdown effect. So it's basic. It's a basic damage attack. Uh, looks like with just a basic slowdown effect. Okay, uh, nothing fancy there. And her ultimate is called Coldness Destroy summons a giant icy rock to bombard a designated target location all enemy heroes will be slowed down and receive magic damage surrounding enemies of the target location where the rock lands will also be slowed down and receive magic damage that is pretty cool all right so an overcap of basically what she's going to be able to do to you her passive with our passive each time the skill is released now we don't actually know what the cooldown timer on this is um i'm assuming each time a regular skill is used it'll add a frost unit so if you use four of your skills after the fifth one it's going to do that that's what i'm assuming uh, i'm not sure if that's on basic attacks if it is on basic attacks that's going to be pretty crazy uh but we have to wait and see until we do get some definite confirmed information on the timers and stuff on that uh the first ability I mean, all these are going to do extra damage if this person is frozen in the passive. So, I mean, you got damage and slowing down enemies for the first ability, damage and slowing down abilities for the second ability. And the third ability is damage and slowing you down. So she is going to annoy the crap out of people. For one, if this ultimate has a decent range on it, she's going to be able to walk up to somebody's tower and place this skill basically over the tower. So you can't stand under your tower. Um, kind of like a Bane mage, if you would kind of say, because I mean, Bane can force people out from under their towers with his ultimate ability. And there's not very many people that have that option. I mean, Maya has got a B ability that does something similar to that, but it doesn't last very long. It's not a very large radius and it doesn't do very much damage. But this is the ultimate from a mage. You can guarantee it's going to be doing several thousand damage. Uh, it's probably gonna be basically damage over time, kinda if you're standing in the radius of it when it's raining down on you. I'm assuming that's how it's going to play out and then it's going to have the slowdown effect so it's going to be harder to run away from it so you're going to need to out or a purify with this to get away from it probably unless it's got a casting 
I guess, time to it. If it does have a casting period time to it where you can kind of guess when she's going to drop it and, you know, you can't avoid it. We're not sure yet, but when we do have like the physical numbers and the percentages to some of this stuff, we'll go over it and take a look at it again. But uh, we do have the background story for Aurora as well. Um, I'll basically read it off to you what it says word for word. It might sound weird because of the translations, but I do apologize if it does not sound correct. All right. Her background story is Aurora born in a windstorm with a great power of controlling ice and snow is the queen of the northernmost land, Nosgal, the dominator of the frozen sea and the guardian of the land of dawn. Although they are on this all northernmost land, Aurora never had any interest in the conflicts between Franco and Bane. Okay, Franco and Bane's got thrown in there for some reason, huh? Oh, look out, guys. All right, she was born a powerful and extraordinary, okay? As one of the four guardians of the land of dawn, she undertakes all those responsibilities of protecting the world, protecting its border, and ensuring its safety from the space-time rifts and monsters. During a horrible plane flight, Aurora lost one arm along with her guardian, Knight. After this experience, the young queen became solemn and cold, silent, and full of sorrow. When she came in riding the winds traveling, there's only snow and ice keeping her company. So that does explain all the slowdown effects and stuff. I mean, she's basically built around ice. I mean, basically think of Elsa from Frozen. You're about to be slowing some people down and whacking ass with this chick. So that's what she's going to be able to do. If you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like on it. Like we said earlier, it does help us out a lot. I want to thank you again so much for watching these videos. It does help out. Even if you made it this far, let me know. As always, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Soul Bash. You guys have a nice day.